from RVing TV. And Annette from Bella Vista RV Parts Department. And today we're bringing you a new parts pick of the week. Now we have talked about water and water systems with some basic accessories. Today we're going to take that a little bit further. Whether you've been RVing for a while or whether you've just purchased a new RV and really I've got to say even more important if you've just purchased an RV or your RV has been sitting, sanitizing your fresh water system and your fresh water tank. So Annette, here at Bella Vista, what do you recommend to your customers? Um, we have uh, the Thetford Freshwater Tank Sanitizer. So it's a full system to do. And, and this is actually my personal favorite. Now, if you have an older RV or have been RVing for a while, you may have read in your manual that it says use a spoonful or a couple spoonfuls of bleach. Mm -hmm. in in the older days, now I've been RVing with family, you know, since I was about 15. And in the old days, it used to say, put bleach, it was a great sanitizer. Products like this Thetford sanitizer didn't exist. What you have to be aware of is today, people will still tell you to put bleach in, but if you read your manual, it'll tell you not to use that. The reason being is the water lines, the fittings, all those components no longer are compatible with bleach. The bleach will dry them out and you'll end up having 90 degree fittings that will crack and leak all through your unit because that bleach is so harsh. So Thetford that developed so many of the products because they build a lot of the components for the RVs has come up many years ago with the fresh water sanitizer. I use this on my own RV, so I can speak to it really, really well. It's a two-part system that you use, and you can. it's typically recommended that you use this at the beginning of each season to sanitize your tank, or we were talking earlier about, uh, you know, we're now in approaching the summer months, and some people start camping early, and then put their RV aside for a few weeks because they have weddings and other events. But it's been really hot, so you might find the, the middle, late part of June, early July gets really warm, and that's a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Wouldn't that's you agree? Right. Yes, absolutely. And if you haven't been using your RV over those number of weeks, you may want to re-sanitize your system if all of a sudden you're going to jump back into the camping season. Now, some of you might be looking at this video and screaming, are you nuts? Do you know what that's gonna cost me? So we're gonna ask Annette, this product, Annette, what do you charge here in the parts store? It, it's under $26. So, under $26. Now, the secret is, a lot of people are thinking, wow, $52 in a season. The secret is, I'm gonna open up this package because it's a two-part application. So. Thank you. The blue one that you see here is actually a cleaning solution. When you read the instructions for this sanitizer, it's going to ask you to put so many ounces per gallon. So for example, this states to put one ounce for every four gallons. A lot of freshwater tanks, if you're doing it for your trailers, a lot of those freshwater tanks are 30 to 50 gallons. So you're not gonna use a whole bottle. You're probably going to use about half, which really gives you about two treatments a season. The sanitizer is very similar, and that's the white bottle, which we'll explain, but it will tell you here. Um, sorry, I should have looked at it earlier, so you guys could have a little bit of laugh. There it is. This is two ounces per eight gallons. So it's half the amount for double the water. And again, you'll use about half. Now I've just done my fifth wheel a couple of weeks ago because I do this every start of the season and or if I let it sit and it's gotten hot and humid because you always have a little bit of residual water in that tank and the last thing you want is the bacteria. And I can tell you it took me a little bit more than half but I have very large tanks 
on the holding system. I'll give you that one back for a second because we'll jump back to that. So easy and simple way to apply. You look at how much you need. It's actually marked along the bottle so that as you pour it out, you can check. You pour this into your fresh water tank, primarily. Most people, that's all they do. I actually take an extra step. Because you have your water inlet that your hose connects to, that's a short run. You still want to sanitize that, and a lot of people miss it. So when I was in the business, I used to tell people to take an ounce or two, pour it into your water hose, then connect it to your trailer, and before you fill up your fresh water tank, you turn on your hose, that now runs the cleaning solution into that little bit of inlet, go inside, turn on your kitchen faucet, for example, and that will pull the cleaning solution through. Then turn off the hose, go over, you've already put this into your fresh water tank in the right number, fill your water tank, or at least here's the trick. If you're sitting still, you're not hooked up to your truck, fill your tank and fill it all the way. Takes a little bit longer. If you want to save a bit of water, maybe save a bit of solution because you're doing it a second time in the season and maybe the first time you pour it a little too much in, we've never ever done that, right? <laughs> fill it halfway, three quarters of the way. If it's hooked up to your truck, go for a little drive. As you're driving, that water will slosh around cleaning that inside of the tank. When you get back, turn your water pump on, and this is gonna tell you to run your faucets for about 60 seconds, one minute. I, If I'm filling my tank, I will typically let my faucet run two to three minutes, and that's turn on your cold in your kitchen, let it run two to three minutes. One minute will do it, I always do a little longer. Close the cold, open the hot. Then do that at each of your faucets uh, in the bathroom, if you have two bathrooms. Also, don't forget your outside shower. That tends to get forgotten a lot. And you'll notice this is working because if you happen to have a kitchen sprayer that instead of just coming down in a stream, you can press the button and it sprays hard, you'll know this is working. When you spray it in the sink, you'll actually see some suds. And that sudsing is telling you this is coming through. Do that throughout your entire unit. Then what you're going to have to do is go in and actually um, go in and then drain your tank. So now you're going to exit your unit. You're going to go drain your fresh water tank because we're going to go to the next step. So usually what I do is I plan to do the sanitizing when I'm packing my unit or doing something else because the fresh water tank, especially if you filled it all the way and you have a big tank that's 45, 50, 55 gallons, will take a bit of time to drain. You don't have to empty low point drains. Whatever water with cleaning solution that's in your unit, leave it. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna put the cleaning solution away. I'm gonna put that there. And then you're gonna move on to step number two, which is the fresh water sanitizer. Once the tank is emptied, your fresh water, close your drain valve, and you're going to, again, two ounces for every eight gallons. You're gonna put this in your fresh water system, and I recommend doing the same thing. Put about an ounce into your water hose, connect the hose to your trailer, turn on the water, go in, open up the faucet, at least one of the faucets to pull it in through that inlet so you're sanitizing it. Turn off your water, now go fill up your tank. Once the tank is full, or again if you want to cheat, half to three quarters, take it for a drive around the block, let it slosh. Then you're going to go in and repeat your first set of steps. Go to each outlet, turn your faucet on, first cold or hot, I do them individually instead of running them together. Run them, two, I like two, three minutes. And this is where the two, three minute habit is, is handy. When we did the cleaning solution, there was nothing in our line. 
right now to get the sanitizing solution, we have cleaning solution in the lines. So running it a little longer, you're just making sure that that sanitizer is coming through and really sanitizing well. This will also give you a little bit of foaming that will happen. Now, a little tip I'm going to tell you guys if you've never done this. Most people will just put this in the, hot, in the fresh water tank, turn on the water pump. And when they turn the hot water on, it's now running through the tank. But remember, your tank is 6, 8, 10, 12 gallons, depending on the type of unit you have. And it's not replacing the water directly. It's mixing it and diluting. So what I like to do is I like to actually, before I put this in and turn it on, I go out and I actually drain my hot water tank because I haven't been heating the water. Don't heat your water because it'll be scalding hot. It's good enough to run it through cold. Would you agree? Yep. So I like to drain my water tank so that when I turn the pump on and the water starts running into the hot water tank, it's now completely filled with sanitizer filling the tank. You'll hear that pump run. Because this will foam a little bit, it'll create a bit of a foam in the tank. So when you turn on your hot water, you're going to see some water come out and then some foaming. Stop give it a minute for the pump to repressurize so it gets the foam out of the hot water tank and then run it for the next two three minutes and do that again at every faucet including your outside shower now some people will say to me why do you even need to sanitize I'm not going to drink the water I don't drink my fresh water unless I'm bringing it from home but remember you're showering your eyes are the most sensitive part of the body, and if there's bacteria there, it can infect you that way. You're going to wash dishes, glasses that you're going to be drinking out of, and that bacteria will get all over your cooking utensils, your cutting utensils, your plate, and that can make you sick. So this becomes really important to sanitize your system, and if you let your unit sit, to sit and wait. Now, once you've done this, that's not the end of your process. Once you've run your faucets for several minutes, you've got this through your system, you're comfortable with it. I'm gonna put that there. I don't wanna make a net hold everything. Um, once you're done that, ideally when you read the instructions, what you should do is again, go outside, drain your fresh water tank, let it drain. Now, I typically will fill my fresh water tank two more times with clean water, and I will again drain the hot water tank to drain out that sanitizer. Now, if the sanitizer remains in the hot water tank, you forget, don't panic, don't worry about it. It's not gonna do you any harm. You will notice it a little bit if you're showering, there's a bit of a smell to it, nothing offensive. So you don't really have to worry, but I like to be a bit of a perfectionist, unfortunately, people tell me. And I drain the hot water tank so that fresh water is coming in, really rinsing it out. And then I won't drain it again. I'll just let it clean itself out. Because now with your fresh water tank refill, again, I mentioned minimum twice, I do it. Every time I fill it, I go run two, three minutes at each faucet. So fresh water's coming, taking that sanitizer out of the lines, so you're getting as little of that residual. Now, if you've over applied it, you may need to do it a third or a fourth time. Um, this does become typically a half day to three quarter day time span project to do because you're having to really fill that fresh water tank and empty it or again the cheats and this is handy with the fresh side now might be the time that you want to hook up your truck fill the fresh tank to half a little over a half take it for a good run around the block to slosh and that way you're draining less fresh water saving a bit of time and I'm pretty sure you've heard people do that I know oh, yeah. I know you mentioned you tell them that's a nice little yeah. a nice little hack to do to save you some time so it's really personal preference on, on what you like to do. 
and how you're doing it, but assume you're gonna need about a half a day. It's worth every penny, 25, 25 $26 basically in that range for one of these kits and you'll potentially get two sanitizing out of it is gonna be the best dollars you spend. If you're new to the RVing industry and you're saying, hey, I don't need to do that, I'm buying a brand new unit, it's never been used, I'm gonna recommend, and we're gonna ask Annette in a second, my recommendation, that's actually even more crucial because the tank has never been sanitized. You really need to use it's it. What do you think? Factory, like, who knows what's in. <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting dust in the factory and there's thing. dust yeah. and they're piled up. So yeah. I like to recommend when I was in the industry, you buy an RV, this is one of the first purchases you should make and it's the best money you can spend for the safety of yourself and your family. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have questions about the sanitizer, you know, let us know. It's pretty much a staple in all the parts stores. Annette has several of them here because of how crucial they are. Very inexpensive. Um, check back every Monday for our parts pick of the week. We're gonna bring you little videos like this to help you understand safety and very key items that are really reasonable. None of our parts pick of the week have been super expensive. Most have really saved you some money. So check back every Monday. We're going to post a new video. Leave us your comments below. If there's a certain part you'd like us to talk about, let us know and we'll try to get that into the rotation for you. Anyways, this is Bruno from RVing TV with Annette from Bella Vista. And we're at Bella Vista's part store, so thank you to Bella Vista and Annette for using the store here. We'll see you next week. Check back soon if you like the video. Mash that like button below. Smash the subscribe button as we're pushing to past 10,000 subscribers. And hit the little bell and you'll be notified of new videos as they come through. If you need parts, you're in the Oro Medante area, Simcoe, North York region, stop and see Annette at Bella Vista here. She's a wealth of knowledge. Thanks everyone. Make sure you live life to the fullest. Take care.